Well, hello folks once again. Big news today. Mid Journey version 5.2 is out. Let's find out what's new, because it looks quite cool. Although we Stable Diffusion people are ahead of the curve, but Mid Journey does produce very nice results. Let's check them out. Now I say we're ahead of the curve because Mid Journey 5.2 brings out the zoom out function, which in other words is outpainting, but their effect is quite cool, I have to admit. So what else is cool in the new release of Mid Journey? Well, they have improved aesthetics and sharper images. We're gonna see examples of that. Slightly improved coherence and text understanding, okay. The stylize command has been fixed to have a strong effect on the amount of the stylization applied to your image, more like version three. This command goes from stylize zero to stylize a thousand and the default value is at a hundred. There are new variation modes, turned on by default and makes all the variation jobs much more varied. Toggle type settings to click a different variation mode. Underneath all the upscales, you can also choose, that should be choose, not chose, which strength of variation you want. And then we have the new shorten command, which I think is actually the best thing. While everybody's focusing on the out painting, the zoom out function, which is not that special to us because we've been doing out painting for so long in stable diffusion, but the shorten command is the really cool one in my opinion here. And the reason is it actually analyzes your prompt and tells you which words have weight, which words don't have any weight, which, ha which words have more effect than others. And this is where it becomes really awesome because I'd like to have that in stable diffusion as well. So the zoom out function looks a bit like this, like our out painting, but to very nice effect, admittedly, as you can see here, you can zoom out once, then zoom out again and again, and it's a two X zoom every time. So you can have a lot of fun with this. And then eventually you can create an infinity zoom by adding all these pictures together into a movie. So this is a reverse zoom that's been made like that one zoom at a time. It starts with this flower, then a city, then the solar system, galaxy, the whole universe, and into the creator's eye. Mid Journey is able to outpaint extremely well. It keeps the exact same light effect and the coherence. It makes a lot of sense in the way it zooms out. Although you can get errors sometimes where a zoom out ends up being a bit different than the original picture, as we can see here, where this restaurant seems to disappear and is replaced by a wall. At every outpaint, it's slightly changing the angle, and therefore it can end up creating something that doesn't necessarily match, but generally it's doing a very good job. I love this first city here, where the infinite zoom just pulls out of the city into another city, into another jungle city. It's extremely highly detailed as well, which we have to appreciate since we don't get the same level of detail when we're doing this on stable diffusion, unless we use in paint inside the out paint at every point in time. We use it by typing zoom out 1.5 X or zoom out 2 X. And then you can do a custom zoom in square brackets. And then you can change the aspect ratio set dash dash zoom one, then change the dash dash AR to your target. Speaking of, you can also make a square out of a non-square image by typing make square and square bracket. You can see examples of stylized here, which actually give you more style, more colors, but mid journey 5.2 will also give you a lot more detailed images. As you can see here with this little robot who was done in 5.1. And then the next one was 5.2 with the same prompt. He looks a lot cooler. And even the background looks a lot more realistic. As you can see here, all the reflections, the water looks more realistic, the rocks, pretty much the whole picture looks more realistic. You can also see those details appearing in this car, where in the first image, it's just translucent, whereas in the second, it has a lot more details to it, a lot more coloring, etc. And now for the most important part, in my humble opinion, is the slash shorten command. So the slash shorten command will basically shorten your prompts. But what it also does, and this is where it's really important, is that it's more of an analyzer tool, it'll show you which of the words you used in the prompt are taken into consideration more than others by the mid journey AI. So this can help you craft a lot more specific and better prompts when you're able to ask the mid journey AI to tell you which words it's ignoring or not taking into account very much and which ones it is, then you can see where you can affect the prompt to give more weight to the things you're more interested in or to add more weight to words that seemingly mid journey is 
more or less ignoring. And this is gonna allow you to craft a much more specific image. So in my opinion, this is the biggest and the best change in 5.2, not the zoom out feature that everybody's focusing on. Well, this was in short the best stuff that Midjourney 5.2 has to offer. Midjourney 6 is apparently well into development, and I imagine we're going to have 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 in between anyway. Hopefully they continue to develop cool features like these ones. Enjoy it, guys. Have fun with this. Until the next one.